Hi everyone, I'm Lark with the Madison Library District. Uh, I'm so excited for you guys to join me today for our teen craft demo using duct tape to make art. Um, we are doing more in-person crafts now. If you would like to join us, we are meeting the first Thursday and the third Thursday of every month at 4.30ish. So, please come. We hope to see you come to the next couple. Anyways, so let's get started on today's thing. So, I took my inspiration because I know someone who does amazing duct tape art. And so this is something one of my good friends uh, made and I was just like, this is the most amazing thing ever. And all it is, is she took an image um, and posterized it to then carve it out with duct tape. So it's a really fun medium. You can do a lot of fun things with it. However, to go with our decade theme, as the library is celebrating its centennial year, um, February's decade is the 1920s, and so we thought it would be fun to do kind of an art deco uh, duct tape patterning art. So this is one I did for the um, in-person cra in craft, but I'll show you how to do this today. So, let's get started and let's have fun. Alright, so what we have handed out as your take home kit is essentially a mat board and it is covered with some duct tape and a little template. Um, most of you guys will probably have two tones of duct tape, which you will be able to see uh, the two tones by the back. Um, and you can do this with any duct tape if you wanted to be ambitious and do this own kind of thing for yourself. Um, if you're doing a lot of these, you might want to get the thin canvas boards to tape onto. However, matte board does work just fine. So, um, this particular matte board, since it was pink, I decided it would just be fun to do a black and pink image. And so it is just one layer of duct tape. Um, and you might want to uh, tape this on more securely. It's totally up to you. Anyways, so you come, you're getting a board and a template. What you will want to get for yourself is an X-Acto knife. And if you have tweezers, tweezers make this a lot easier. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide what aspect I want pink and what aspect I want black out of this piece. And I think I'm going to actually turn all of these black parts into the pink parts. Because I think that will be fun. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of trace and I'm pushing my knife uh, semi-hard um, down into the board because I don't want to cut through the board itself um, onto the table. I just want to give an outline into my duct tape and actually cut my, through my duct tape. And I found it's easier to trace all of the spots you're wanting to cut at the start because as soon as the paper starts coming off it's going to make it more challenging to get to those specific spots. However, I don't want to remove the paper entirely because then it's a lot of guessing as uh, as far as where my line is um, and what I want, um, where I want to go next. So I'm only going to cut um, this half of the paper for now and then I'll show you the next part. Okay, so it really won't look like much um, at this point, especially because I did black duct tape. And so, you can kind of see my outlines, but they'll show up more as soon as I start pulling back some of this. So I'm not taking this off all the way because I still want to be able to remember uh, some of its design. But I am going to peel off parts of it. Okay, so there you can see my lines here. And if you don't have tweezers, you can use uh, the edge of your X-Acto knife. And so you kind of just use it and you tease away the duct tape until it starts getting something you can lift up. 
and then you're able to just kind of pull it back here and I like to keep my knife on hand here in case there's any part that I didn't cut through all the way so I can just kind of re go over that same line that I had initially created. So there you have the first line um, with tweezers It allows you to grab at the duct tape theoretically easier. If you end up wanting to make uh, your own of this, um, your own pattern and stuff uh, different from the template we've given you, you'll want to um, lay your layers of duct tape, one layer, all going the same way, and then if the next color, all going the opposite direction, and um, just repeat that process with however many layers you end up creating with. My friend often, um, who does duct tape art, she often does about four different colors, and she just decides what is going to be her lightest value. and goes from there. It's already looking really cool. Art Deco was a cool time period in history, um, or in art, because they, believe, they saw so much in geometric patterns and designs and just were intricate and detailed with those things which is really fun to look at and think how can I be as detail um, in, and oriented in my own designs and in life. This piece, it's too big of a piece to pull up because it's trying to grab more pieces than I can hold down and so I just decided to cut off a little piece so that I could then pull it up. So that's how it's looking so far, and alrighty. So here is my finished Art Deco duct tape art, and I think it looks really cool. So I hope you guys had a ton of fun with this, and we'll see you next time. Again, we're meeting in person for in-person crafts the first Thursday and the third Thursday of every month. So uh, we'll see you next time.